All right, Mr. Wright here with lesson 19.3 for the trombone. You may be wondering how many of these point whatevers is there going to be before we hit lesson 20? Well, this is the last one for now. You see, what I'm trying to do is give you some high register notes to work on while the clarinets prepare to go over the break. They're going to have their own huge challenge to work on, and you'll have your own challenge of working on these high notes. I don't expect you to be able to hit all these high notes right away. It's something that you want to work towards as the clarinets are working on their own little struggle of playing over the break. And what that means when the clarinets have to play over the break, say they're, each one of their fingers serves as a little pad that has to close off each one of those little tone holes. And then when they hit the register key on the back, each one of those tone holes has to be perfectly sealed in order for them to be able to hit those notes over their break, over uh, like say their C and their D and so, and so forth. So you're gonna have your struggle and they're gonna have their struggle. So this is something to be working towards. So when we hit lessons 20, 21, you'll be playing some of these same notes and just working on it. So this is something I'm just introducing you to these high register notes so that you can be working on these notes while the clarinets are working on their things that they have, their challenges that they have to work on. You've got your B flat, in first, your C in third, D, then E flat, and then your F. And notice the positions and the pattern that works our way It's through this. It's first position, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, all right? And I'm gonna capitalize on that. It's just pop, 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 back and forth, which makes it pretty simple. You do have to remember, ah, oh, this B flat and that D, the notes that are on the spaces in the ledger lines, are the notes that are in first position. The ones that are cut in half, those are in third position. And let's do a quick review. High notes from last lesson right there, and which is a review of another lesson. But uh, high notes, fast air over an arced tongue, like a hissing sound. And then you're gonna firm your lips up against the teeth. You never wanna poof your lips out because that kind of defeats the whole purpose, your, only, your ability to play high notes. You, the only thing that you're left with, if you pinch your lips together, uh, you, you can pinch your lips together, but it's gonna have a, a really nasty sound or using mouthpiece pressure, which causes problems in and of itself, swelling and everything. So let's make sure you're focusing on those concepts. As you're rising higher, you're gonna think of firming lips up against the teeth, arcing the back of the tongue, faster air, and those notes, and if you use your tongue, those notes will pop out as well. Um, like for instance, if you're playing one frequency, like say on the B flat, if you tongue, it kind of disturbs that airflow to interrupt the old frequency that was being played, so your lips can start buzzing at a different frequency, depending on the, uh, you know, what partial you're going for or what position you're in. So in number one, you start off with a good old B flat in first position up to the C. So and I'm going to sing this down an octave because I get kind of tired trying to sing it real high. One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Or, but you, I mean, I probably, let's, let's talk about the positions. It's first, third, first, first, third, first, right? And that just go back and forth between all these three, just kind of drilling you really on these three notes right here, the B flat, the C, and the D. And you wanna learn the names of these notes as well, just so that you can speak intelligently with other uh, band people about what notes you're actually playing. And we do dip down to the A natural there in second position, because we in our key signature, we always wanna look at your key signature first. You've got a, a flat on your B line, making all your Bs B natural, I mean a B flat, I'm sorry. So like a B natural is out here in four. <laughs> but we want to play a B flat. You can play B flat in fifth position, down a half step, or in first position. Right? So, let's try number one. One, two, three. Number nine, uh, well, it should be number two. I forgot to number of these. That's shame, shame, shame. But uh, this next one here, it measure nine. Um, 
One, two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, four. And notice these A's, they'll be A naturals because there's not a flat on the A space here. These are regular good old A naturals like we've been, always been playing. Um, then in this third measure, one, and two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, four. Starting at measure nine. One, two, three. Then this next one, and I'm so sorry, I forgot to number these. It'll be the number number three. Just walking around here, but we do go up to E flat in third position, right? It's all kind of stepwise. And so it's gonna be in third position. It's got stuck in half by that uh, ledger line there. That is an E flat. An E natural, a regular E natural will be in second position, like an A natural. But since it's E flat, it's gonna be in third. So let's uh, try this. I think the rhythm's pretty easy to follow. One, two, and and remember those those things i talked to you about how how to hit these higher notes Faster air, arc the back of the tongue, from the lips up against the teeth, okay? And using the tongue will help to pop those notes out as well. Like, I'm kind of playing soft so I don't uh, distort the microphone. Uh, measure 25 here. One, two, three, four, one, two. First half of the B flat scale. Then we do the same thing up an octave right here. Uh, just. One, two, uh, first position, third, first, third, first position, F, right? So it's one, three, one, three, one. And then we do that again. They said we come back down. One, three, 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 one. <laughs> so back and forth. So I'm just kind of hammering this little concept here. Make sure you get it. All right, so here we go, measure 25 right there. And oh, one, use your tongue to begin each note. Then up an octave. Now, there's a thing that I do, if you add a burst of air to the beginning of that, like I keep my arms here firm, that this doesn't move, okay? When we talk, we move our jaw, you know, but when we play trombone or any other instrument, we keep our jaw still. And, uh, but you'll notice that I play what I, with what I call bell tones, a burst of air at the beginning of the note, and I taper it off softly because if you play just da, 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 just real loud the whole time, um, it takes more strength to hold your lips in place, so up against the teeth. So if you just put all the energy at the beginning of the note, then you don't have to exert all this energy to maintain this note, the embouchure. So like in measure three of that same one, I hit the note and I get soft. And it's really cool when you're playing with a group, playing a piece of music, you can hit the note and it's there, you can hear it, it rings in the air, then it gets out of the way of other things that could be taking place with the other instruments in different parts. Um, measure 35 of this next one right here. One and two and three and four. Then we just, we're just, each time we're going up a step. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. So we're starting off first position to third, and we're just drilling ourselves on these upper register notes. This one. 
One, two, use your tongue. And this next one entitled Jumping Octaves, we're just jumping octaves. Play this one, three, one, three, one. And then we just come back down. So here comes this next one at measure 43. One and two and three. Then, this next one. When I was uh, 11, 12 years old, I was our Boy Scout Troop bugler, okay? I was the guy that woke everybody up. Dun, dun, dig -a -dun, dun, dig -a -dun. Everybody, you know, it was, it was bad at times. But it was nice that when we had Court of Honors and I would play taps over in the corner. The, the sanctuary we met in was nice. It had a lot of reverb, it was awesome. But, uh, you know, I, I did a lot of bugling, and on a bugle, there's no valves. You just you're just using the different partials of each of the overtone series, the G overtone series with a bugle. But uh, here, at measure 51. This whole exercise is in first position. Okay, so you want to use your tongue, and uh, we've got rhythms here that we've seen before from lesson 14. One and a two and three and a four and one and two and three four. One and a two and three and four and one and two and three, like so. Same stuff here, one and a two and three and a four and, all right? So just a little bugle tone here. Here comes uh, number measure 51. One, two, and <laughs> first position. How easy can it get? So hopefully that'll get you started on lesson 19.3 for the trombone.